today I wanted to share with you something that I get asked a lot. So hopefully this is going to answer some of your questions. This is all about how to deal with that loss of firmness and the jowls that we get. So this is part of the aging process. We all age differently, but this is a common area and the neck that we kind of lose that firmness and that tone as we age. Our collagen and elastin fibers are aging with us. They're losing their spring, so the face doesn't bounce back like it used to. We've obviously got that gravity as well, and that's potential kind of the lymphatic drainage, so sometimes we can get a little bit puffy uh, and a little bit just heavy in the bottom of the face as well. I don't know about you, but you know, if I'm looking down on a phone and I've got my camera on me, excuse the dog there, uh, you know, I can almost feel and see my face kind of hanging. So these massage moves are there to help with exactly that, to give us that natural lift. They are not a magic wand, okay? These are just aspects that you can add in to your home care and maybe your treatments and things that you're doing at home to help. Okay, firstly, I'm going to start by applying a very small amount of oil. A couple of drops in my palm warming it up. It doesn't matter what oil you use, ideally plant-based, not mineral-based. And I'm going to apply to the lower part of the face and down the sides of the neck. As with a lot of my massage tutorials, and when I'm working with my own face and my clients in facials, I often start with the neck. If you imagine, if we remove the top layer, underneath we've got all those muscles. They are all connected, you know, the muscles aren't stopping here. So particularly when we're focusing on this area, we need to include the neck as well. So I'm going to release these off. We've got a, a long sheet of muscle, the platysma, and the sternocleomastoid, I think I've said that correctly. So we're going to be working on those, even actually around the back, these all kind of match in as well. Work on one side, then the other, and then just releasing it all off. So that's kind of a little bit of an L shape that I'm just pushing back with from the chin to my ears. Okay, so jaw is often an area of tension and again, because they're all connected, we're going to start by releasing off the muscles underneath. If you chew, you'll be able to feel these muscles move. So being reasonably firm there. I'm going to pinch, so I'm making a pinching action thumb and knuckle underneath and above and I'm going to pinch, 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 pinch and repeat that. The amount of times you repeat is going to depend on the size of your face and your hands. So for me it's roughly four or five pinches across the jaw. So we're going to push up, I'm using two fingers, might be these two, you might find it easier with different ones, but pushing up from here and we're going to snarl slightly as we push up, so, so push up and hold and continue that all the way out and you're kind of hooking up underneath our cheekbones and holding that connective tissue. And we're going to repeat. It is quite deep, you know, we are working with some quite strong muscles here, particularly that jaw muscle. And then we're going to switch. I can't speak and push at the same time. I can! I've amazed myself. We're going to switch to knuckles. So again, we're pushing up with those knuckles and we're going to hold underneath the cheekbone and rock. So you'll be able to feel 
that muscle being eased underneath the cheekbone. So push up and rock. It's just a gentle rock, it's not a big movement, but you'll definitely feel the difference. So pushing up and rocking, and then pushing up the whole face, and it's kind of, you're just holding slightly with the pads of your hands. So getting nice and close to the sides of the mouth and then moving it out to the sides. Then we're gonna to move to one side of the face. So with this, this is a, we're working now on the connective tissue and it might look a little bit odd. So thumb is on your jaw and your fingers, we're kind of making maybe a little heart shape, but just like that. And your thumb is pushing up and there's a, a hold and a, I'm gonna say pinch, but it's a, a firm hold, not a pinch outwards. So, and I'm holding each move for about the count of five to eight seconds. And then coming back in, you're kind of hooking because we really want to be working on this area. So it's a slight diagonal movement with that hold. And then jaw and up. and further out. And then we're going to push up and again we're hooking and there's just a little bit of a hold so you can feel a bit of tension and then alternate push, push. I find whenever I work particularly on one area, so obviously the lower part of the face, you just get a real heat from that extra blood flow that's happening as well. But we're very much working on the underlying muscle, the connective tissues. And then we're gonna support the chin and with our knuckle move, we're gonna push and hold. So you can see my hand at the side. Push and hold. Then we're going to repeat all of those to the other side of the face. So again, we're going back to our connective tissue, thumb on the jaw and push up. And a gentle pinch. Push up. And again. and then that slightly outwards. Just be cautious that you're not pulling down on the eye area, that's not what we want to be doing. Pushing up and hold. And then using our hand and heel of hand to lift. I like using the alternate hands because I find there's a different area. I find this hand, the pressure is a lot more into that jaw. And this one, it just comes a little bit closer into the side of the nose. So that's why I'm not just kind of using one hand continuously. And then again, from holding the chin and knuckle, pushing out. Out, out. Thumbs underneath, so this paddy bit underneath here, this is an area that starts going on so many of us. We're gonna push into that, and then you won't be able to see this action, but I'm going to flatten my tongue to the roof of my mouth. You will be able to feel this muscle under here tighten. So I'm gonna do the action, pushing up, 
you feel all of this tighten. So then this is pushing against you firming that muscle. So I'm going to do that a few times. Probably not very exciting because you can't see what's going on inside my mouth. And then gliding out. It's nice to do some lifting moves. Again, this really gets the blood flowing. You can do this not too fast, or you can do them a lot faster. You can go with fingers, body of fingers, or you can go fingertips for a slightly lighter move. And then it's really nice just to do a still hold to hold everything up. So you might just do one side of the face. Hold it for anything from 8 to 10 seconds. And then the other. And I'd always do that middle hold. Not quite so attractive. but it feels very good. And then just calm everything back down and definitely finish back down on our neck area. So that is a massage for that lower part of the face. Like I said, you can use any plant-based oil, whatever your skin prefers. If you've got a rosacea skin, it's not necessarily going to be for you. If you've got active acne and acne and breakouts, they can very much be on that lower part of the face. Again, this massage routine, it's not for you. However, for those that are feeling that loss of firmness, me particularly, this is an area that I find, um, you know, it bugs me. You could do this maybe once a week, dependent on your skin type, you might want to add it into your evening routine. Maybe, I find the evening is probably the best time to do this type of thing because it is quite deep, it does get that blood flow going, um, but then you know you could maybe remove the oil with a warm cloth, put your night serums on and then straight to bed. I hope you have found that helpful, please do ask me any questions below.